So here's my podcast again. Um, it's pretty early. Now that I've gotten older, I always wake up early. So we'll talk about serious stuff later, but I'm just wondering, do you guys ever go on cleaning strikes? I know some of my friends, it would, they would lose their mind if, you know, I've got one sissy, I'm, I'm not going to say her name, but I've got one sissy that cleans her house like five times a day. Maybe I'm exaggerating a wee bit, but I'm serious. She, she'll clean her house before she goes to work. She cleans her house when she gets back from work. It's her thing. That's what makes her feel good, right? So I'm not, not biting on that. Um, but sometimes I don't want a vacuum. I don't want a dust. But it's like never ending. I wish that I could figure out a system where there was no dust. But I haven't quite figured that out. I thought by getting rid of the, the carpet, there would be no more dust. I thought getting $500 air filters or whatever to make your air clean in your house that would get rid of dust. But it doesn't work. And I I know it's just the little things, but I can't I don't like dusting. It's all the time. So I finally vacuumed yesterday. I kind of went on like a vacuum strike, which can be pretty bad because I have two German shepherds. And I just didn't want to vacuum and I didn't want to dust and there was like our our dogs shed pretty much every day there I mean sometimes the smoke will blow his coat they call it blowing the coat twice a year but I feel like it's more like every day all year but so there was like so there will be like um, fur bunnies or like you could put as all the fur that's collected on our floors. Like you could make another dog with it. <laughs> um, so sometimes I just go on cleaning strikes. Not that, I mean, I am one of those type. I think my mental health or there's something about me where I... I know exactly where everything is, but it's a complete, it may look like chaos <laughs> to other people, but I just know, I can remember where things are at, even though it's like a, a cluster F. I'm going to try not to cuss so much on my podcast. This is my podcast. Um... But I was just wondering if you guys ever do that. You know, I remember when I was like 28, 29, and my marriage uh, to Louie, he was my first husband. He was one of my best friends, too. I miss him. He passed away when he was um, 41 um, of a heart attack. Um, that was a rough ride for me. That was, um, he's my son's dad. But. What was I talking about? Um, oh, yeah. When I was like 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Like, I was a workout. Like, I worked out all the time. My house had to be spotless. Everything had to be right. All the, all the glasses needed to match. All the... Everything needed to match. And everything had to be clean. And really what, what that was all I think about was that my marriage and inside was falling apart. So I tried to make everything look perfect, right? So that was crazy and that was exhausting. Um, Malka, move please. Um, but, you know, I, I don't think I'm like a, you know, I don't like dirty, dirty. But... I just go on strike against dust and I go on strike against dog hair and I just don't want to deal with it. I've got other things that I want to deal with like chill out or whatever. So I was just wondering if you guys ever go through that. 
Or maybe you're on the other side of the pendulum where you're constantly need to have that organization or, you know, no dust. Um, but it's like I went into battle with dust and dust is winning. <laughs> also, what we've done, sorry my cigarette went out because I'm talking too much. Also, what we've done is our backyard. So, we kind of had to make it more gravel because it was just like a mud, mud pond thing. Because we're in an area where our dirt is clay. So, we made it pretty much gravel. We have this big, huge deck thing and made it gravel. But, I don't know if you guys can see it. Shoot, dang, that's bright. But... Do you see the like the the clover and just the grass growing tall around these trees? Do you see that? So what we've done is we've just gone all natural. I'm not going to fight the weeds. Plus also the clover and stuff like bees can come and pollinate and I just love bees. Bees are important. Bees matter too. Um I think they're very important. Uh, they pollinate and do wonderful things for us. And so we've just kind of gone all natural. I mean, we mow the front yard and do all that. But um, my husband went to England last year. I believe it was last year. And he was like, babe, they don't, they don't like mow on the side of the roads. They just let everything be natural. And I was like, you know what? I like that idea. I like the idea of just it being natural. So, um, or maybe I'm just lazy and maybe that's just not as important to me anymore to have everything pristine. Plus also with these guys, this is Malka, with them you just can't have everything perfect. So, that's my little, just my podcast, my little um, tidbit on dust and vacuuming and going on strikes um, of cleaning. It's exhausting. I mean, do we, I mean, who wants to, I work 40 to 50 hours a week. Then I'm coming home and vacuuming. I don't want to do that. That's not my deal. I don't want to do that. So, I mean, of course I do it, you know, maybe once a week. But I did go on a strike for like almost two weeks of no vacuuming and dusting. <laughs> um, if I could just have one of my sissies come over, especially the one that I was talking about that cleans all the time. And sissy, if you do watch this, I love you very much. But I'm always threatening her. Well, why don't you just come to my house? Because I know you'll start cleaning. <laughs> but... Um, Anyways, I hope everybody has a good day. I'm going to pop back on. I, uh, there's some things I want to talk about. Uh, the fentanyl thing. Um, we're going to get into a conversation or I'm going to share my thoughts and views on this pedophilia maps thing. Just not down with it. I just cannot. Can't, I just can't get on board with that. Um, so we'll talk about that later. But... Um, just another podcast episode of Talking with Tiffany. Okay. Bye, you guys.